Okay, so I'd like to just explain some fundamental differences between an enduro bike and what you're used to riding. So we just start at the front, I'll explain a few things. So this is a, this is a KTM 350 four-stroke. This, this is a European bike built in Austria. So the main difference is here, we have, uh, we have a lot of suspension travel, WP inverted forks. We have a disc protector for stones to, to avoid hitting the, uh, the front disc. If we moved up back the bike, you, you noticed earlier, we have a, a translucent tank so we can see the fuel level. This is one of the, the major benefits of a KTM, very handy when you're riding off-road. Radiator, fairly standard. Uh, gears, foot pegs, as you can see, there's no rear foot pegs, because this is purely for single man riding, single, single lady riding. Uh, you've got a fairly long seat, because the position on an enduro bike is quite important. If you're riding on soft sand, you want to be far back on the bike. If you're going into corners fast, you want to put your weight forward on the bike. Hence the, hence the length of this seat. It's not for carrying two people, it's just for a lot of movement. Towards the back, you've got a sprocket here. This is a, this is a KTM sprocket with an alloy inner sprocket, KTM, and, and a, an external harder, harder metal sprocket here because you change the sprocket quite frequently. So there's a cost reduction in changing this. Uh, chain, you've got a lot of suspension travel. You need to have about two inches of play in the chain. So there's a little bit of excess here, but we, we, we'll adjust that before we ride it. Uh, moving around the back, this is a road legal enduro. We have a tail light here for, for very brief road use. Uh, we've got a KTM racing exhaust. Standard here, we have a kickstart. We've got a kickstart and we also have electric start. So if you're on a long ride and you're starting stalling a lot and you run out of battery power, you, you can kick it. So you've got a secondary method of starting the bike. Uh, so again, very, very similar to your road bike. You've got a starter, engine stop, but there's no, there's no dials here. There's just, a, there's just an electronic counter here, which counts the hours and distances you've traveled. So that's the only information. You have to listen to the engine to assess the revs and when to change gear. So that's, that's the basics of an enduro bike. Do, do you have any questions? No. No? All clear? Hi, hi, I'm Ronald. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Vivo. Vivo. Yeah. I heard you guys were in Malaysia for two weeks. Where are you guys planning to go? Um, well, it depends a bit on on on, uh, on the weather and, and how, how things go. We don't have a really fixed plan, but but the idea is to go east first, um, uh, visit some caves, and then to the jungle, and then go to the uh, east coast, and then go up. East Coast to uh, uh, the Thai uh, border. Yeah, in many countries, countries, but not in Malaysia. And we, we're doing this every year. Um, every year in the summer, we take uh, two weeks. We are brothers, and um, so we go uh, two weeks on. Uh, to, to, uh, we have been in Vietnam, where we uh, rent bikes in Hanoi, and then did the tour and back to Hanoi. We have uh, been in, uh, in Thailand. Uh, in the Philippines and, uh, Sri and Sri Lanka. Yes, Sri Lanka is very nice. So, um, how did you guys find out about uh, On the internet. Because my brother is normally taking care of the, the route and what we're seeing, and I'm, I'm taking care of where to find bikes and how to rent bikes. And I think in the end I ended up with uh, TripAdvisor. And I uh, found, found them on TripAdvisor. Yeah, yeah. And then I, uh, I sent an email to uh, Kev and, and he responded and we got in, got, got in touch and then uh, so he said things up. Um, so I'm starting off my yeah, offer training soon. Yeah. Have you guys got any advice or tips to uh, Never close your eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Locker. So more than uh, all in here are according to the size. Emailed to us earlier. Yes. 
these are all your equipment for the day. Mm -hmm. There's so many, right? Yeah. Some of it goes outer layer, but most of it inside. So you'll be just fine. Let's see. We have elbow pads. Okay. You're supposed to wear all this inside the jersey. Then you should put on the knee pads. Okay, as so you can see, knee pad by EVS, they have this specific security system. They help to protect your knee by having these two metal brace. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it, it helps you in the sense that your knee will not be bending in any awkward angles. Only one motion allowed, backwards. That's it. You, you can only flex and go. Otherwise, you have the risk of injuring your knees. You Probably should wear these inside. inside your pants. Yep. Okay. Next, we have the chest pad. This is the kind of chest pad that we wear inside the jersey. The difference is they are slightly thinner, mm -hmm. slightly smaller. The kind that we wear outside of the jersey is the one that comes with the shoulder pad. Yeah. Very bulky, American rugby looking thing. Okay, that's the kind we wear outside. And last but not least, okay, next. Now, once you're done donning all this, you should put on your jersey. Okay, that's why they make this loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, before your back, you should don your knee, neck brace. This one, it saves lives. Yes, yes, yes. We don't want any injuries from the right, so you put this on first before you don your helmet or water bag. On this, this is the water bag. Very important due to our weather. We need to bring along our own water bag. This one can fit 1.5 liter. Oh. After you put on all those, finally you should put on your gloves. Why we don't do it the other way around? Because it's easier for you to do everything to test things without gloves on, right? Finally you put on your gloves. Your special boots for riding motocross mm -hmm. that helps to protect your ankle and shins. Before you start to warm up your bike, don't forget helmet. The friendly helmet is the most important of all. Okay, try to put it on. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. I'll be right outside the door. All right, okay. Thank you. Good luck. Right, let me give one round of check first. Okay, we have the knee pads, boot all strapped up. Okay. Okay, before putting on your helmet, neck brace, or the water bag. You should don your chest pad first. Let's see. It's supposed to help to protect your ribs. How do you find the feet? Okay. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Okay, sits correctly. Next is your water bag. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. The front, yep. You'll get used to it. It should fit properly so it doesn't move around when you ride and your attention is not distracted. There it goes. Okay. How do you feel right now? Good. Excited? Yes. Yay. Last but not least, neck brace. Okay. On the back. Okay. Make sure the behind is slot with your water bag. So it doesn't move around. Okay. Should be an anchor. Finally. your neck brace mm -hmm. and your helmet try to flick your neck does it any is it yeah. stopping you from yeah. okay it should it helps to protect your neck mm -hmm. in case of a fall uh -huh. so you will not break your neck okay. and finally gloves. yeah gloves
do you find the fit? See, yes, this is the correct fit for your palm. Let's see. Okay, later on, remember, you'll go underneath your helmet, not over the top of your helmet, okay? Right, let's go.